Good morning. Um, just got back and um, was supposed to have a call with a client. Well, okay, I won't have the call with the client. <laughs> I just saw. Um, so, yeah, I don't really have anything to say. Good morning. Hey, how are you doing? What's up? I mean, if I did not just find the most perfect clip for me to use on the website, it's a Gary V keynote, and he talks about LinkedIn, listen to this. I'm still gonna use that on my website. In the B2B business as an entrepreneur, raise your Wait hands. for it. Higher, please. Great, so let's talk about B2B. B2B is very interesting to me. I've never been more bullish on LinkedIn than I am today. Oh. LinkedIn is very interesting over the last year and a half. Hmm. As many of you know, how many people here are on LinkedIn and use it? Me. Great. As many of you noticed, it's changed in the last two years, right? Four years ago, just like podcast, it was a utility to recruit people or spam them on email to do business. Today, it's been about content. Huh. The amount of business I'm doing for VaynerMedia and for me by putting out content on LinkedIn is remarkable. It's really what we dreamed it could be five years ago of, could you imagine if LinkedIn became a business Facebook? It has. Huh. If you are in the B2B space here and you are not attacking LinkedIn by putting out articles, videos, and pictures every day, you are leaving money and opportunity on the table. Boom. Mic drop. I mean, that video is still gonna be on the website. And here's how, how it's gonna go. Landing page, boom, Gary V about LinkedIn, that's the clip. Probably gonna make a version where I'm also in it. And then here I found two pretty good uh, quotes too that work. 82% of people are more likely to trust a company when their senior executives are on social media. And then a Forbes quote years ago, you could get away without a personal bread. Well, the world has changed completely. I think I like that because number one, we can target people who are like Gary Vee followers anyway because they already understand what a personal brand is, they already understand like what it does, they already see the value and Gary Vee probably through stuff like that planted in their head the idea of like, oh shit, I should get to this, I should finally start building my personal brand and so it's kind of like, it's the, the why should I care about this? slide and then we go into problem and then we go into solution so yeah that's just perfect oh my god i think something is happening i think my humor is coming back we were just hanging out with people and i could pe make people laugh it's so much fun i realized that this whole time i've spent like you know being in my room and being on my own like it was good to get shit done, but routine also kills creativity, and especially it killed my humor. So, yeah, that was fun. We were just hanging out with a couple of people, and that's it. I mean, you guys are not seeing the funny part. You're just like, what the fuck are you talking about, Finn? You're not funny. And you're right on that. But um, I don't know, it was very enjoyable to do that and also the last couple of days like since I've been hanging out with that girl like I've just been obviously I've been enjoying life more but it's also like yeah I'm just like I'm getting back my into my creative juices on like hanging out with people I've not done that in a long while like actually hanging out with people and um, when I hang out with people, it's mostly like talking about business and it's mostly on like, you know, on a video call or FaceTime. And um, that's part of why I'm so excited for, for Ricky and Jay and all of these people to come over because like, then I can work and be surrounded by people. <sighs> but now it's again time to work a bit. I actually just 
worked out at this gorgeous place. I actually go here pretty much every day um, to work out and then eat dinner. They have a pool and a sauna and like everything, it's gorgeous. And I've now been pretty much working out on a daily basis for the past one and a half month, which is a habit I've been trying to establish for a long time. And one thing I just realized while being in the gym, I think one thing that a lot of people, and me too, struggle with when they start out, is like you're comparing yourself to all these other people who have been working out for a long time and they're like strong, they have the bodies, they are like able to lift much more weight than you do. And um, that's hard. But then today I realized the gym is actually not about who can lift more or who, who is stronger, but it's about who can, it's about becoming stronger. And so that puts everyone on the same playing field because it doesn't matter like what's your starting point, it's about relative to that starting point how hard can you work to become better compared to that because like i see people working out and they you know they are able to lift a lot of weight and they have like a lot of muscle but they're not even breaking a sweat like i don't know if they become complacent or they have good genetics or whatever but they just show up lift a couple of weights take some instagram pictures and then they leave and then on the other hand, you have people who, who don't yet have the, the body or who don't yet are able to lay, w lift the weight. But like you can tell they're working hard. Like they're sweating. You can see the strain on their face. They're going beyond the point where it's not only becoming uncomfortable, but where it's actually becoming painful, which you got to do because basically working out is like destroying your muscle and then it recovering and becoming stronger, right? So that's the interesting part and like life is the same way like it's not about who has the most accomplishments and who is the best but it's about who can work on themselves harder than everyone else because like I'm not as esoteric where I'm like I don't care what everyone else is doing like I do but it gives me comfort to realize that as long as I'm trying to improve as fast and as best as possible i'm working as hard as possible on myself compared to my current like point where i'm at then it doesn't matter how far ahead other people are given enough time you will always catch up because your rate of improvement is is greater than other people's so yeah just like focus on improving compared to where you're currently at that. And with that, we were wrapping up the day. I had a really good leg workout, like really good, like, oh my God. And, um, oh, hopped on a call with that client. Um, we talked things through. Um, we're gonna restructure the, the offering a bit, um, kind of downsizing a bit, but still kind of upselling. So it's like a in-between solution. Um, we left on a very good note, which is good. Like the conversation we had was just very calm and very, very friendly. So I'm happy about that. That it's not like we both got defen defensive again, and this ended up being like a shit show or something. Like really civil. Um, so that's good. That's good. Um, and that's about it. Yeah. Thank you so much for watching. Peace out, see you tomorrow. Hard to wake up when there's no alarm to wake you up. Sitting, breathing, doing all the things I hate a lot. But why not? Holy shit, I just wanna make a trip to the China.